Hello and welcome to another video. I am Caesar, <laughs> and today I am again playing in my royal safe file. And I wanted to introduce you to a family whose story I'm super excited about. Um, so this is Zahur Adebovale. He's basically mm. the like main character of um, the storyline that I thought of. And he is the son of the family, and he's a young adult. And basically. Mm. The story is that, like, the Aribo Valley family, so I believe this is a name of Yoruba origin, and it's supposed to mean, like, um, something along the lines of, like, return of the crown, or return of the king, or, like, the king is coming home. And I really love that name. So basically, these are the first royals that I created that are, like, more modern inspired for now, and they live inside my Shuno. And basically they are descendants of an ancient like royal line but that kind of faded from history and like faded from people's memory his mother shani who we'll like talk about in just a second she used to work at a university and kind of did like research and stuff into their family name and their family history because her late husband like also had this ring still that had been passed down through generations and so that's how she like found out that they seem to be the descendants of this like royal family and basically Zahur is like he's determined to like unearth their history and like revive <laughs> their royal family um, and basically rise up as like the next uh, the next king of the line and for that there's like quite some steps that he has to go through but for now I just like introduce you more to the characters so he's got a little sister as well her name is Kanzi she is like an aspiring painter she's still a teen um, like really quirky kind of goofy super stylish I love this outfit um, yeah and she's like really fabulous and like a great support for her brother and she um, stands behind him and like obviously you know she also wants uh -huh. to to know about their family history but I think for her it's like a little bit less um, huh. important like to her personality like she's also just happy being a painter and everything and then so this is Shani mm. this is the mother and as you can see she is very sickly so this is actually like a skin overlay and it accidentally like placed itself on her as I was creating her and I think it looked like it makes her look so sick and that's kind of how like the storyline around mm -hmm. her evolved so she um, has a really terrible illness because of that mm. like in part Zahur is re trying really hard to um, power towards his goal of like bringing back their royal line because he's hoping that he can still like find out more while she's still alive because basically like she started off on this path by doing all the research um, so yeah he really wants to like make her proud and then they live together with their aunt Tishala and like, she's a very good-hearted person and she normally was like a style influencer but now that her sister is getting sick, she's like gonna take care of her a lot more. So I already played a little bit with them just to kind of like get them to a point where the story can start. So um, so Tishala, or I normally in my head just call her Tish, she like advanced in her career a little bit and um, Zahra has a pretty good standing in like a business career as well. He's trying to like network a lot and like make good relations um, and sort of work his way up in the world. And at the moment, Shani is home alone. And I had just, um, I had just given her the fatal illness symptoms. So I used this like life tragedies mod that I downloaded. I disabled most of the um, most of the tragedies because like <laughs> I don't want people to just like pop out up out of nowhere and like kill people especially the serial killer thing I was not too um, too keen on oh, oh, and so ah. she's not feeling mm -hmm. very well 
and as a result I also um, like I normally don't enable their needs just because uh, it takes a, like for me in these like in this kind of gameplay it's not so much fun to like have to constantly run with them to like the bladder and things like that um, but yeah basically she's home alone at the moment everyone else is either at school or at work so I'm thinking this would be like the first time when uh, oh <gasps> oh my god she fainted oh my god I was just about to say like this would be like the first time that she's not feeling that well <gasps> Oh no, she's just passed out and like <laughs> through the wall oh, as well. Oh, yeah, oh. get back up. Oh. So they don't know yet that, that she has a disease. Um, and like you should probably not be on the PC. Maybe you should just sleep. But so oh. far her her needs are all still like quite high. Can we watch like doctor shows or something? Like she's trying to watch <laughs> is that not possible? Okay, he's not enjoying <laughs> socializing with his co-workers. I want them to come home already. Oh no, but it's going to be Kanzi coming home. She's going to come home and like see her mom. I, I don't think that's a good idea. I don't I don't think that's what should happen. <laughs> I think I'm gonna like find something else for Kanzi to do after school just so she's not the one to like be confronted with it. Ooh, she got a higher grade. Okay, can I just gonna send her to like a skill class. The only skill she's really like gaining normally is painting and she's already quite good at that. Um oh he's so angry. Oh, from scrolling social media, it seems the police aren't doing a good job. I'm gonna have her increase her photography skills, so maybe she can like take reference photos and stuff for her painting. And then we just really want either Zahur or Tish to come home. Okay, I think they're all gonna be home around the same time. Normally, he would want to fill out reports for work. He still has to do that. Alright. Shani, let's stop. And let's talk to your sister about the fact that you are not feeling good. Complain about problems. Oh no. Okay, now their daughter is here anyway. Don't turn on the TV. Complain about the heat. Yeah, she's not feeling great. Okay, maybe I'm gonna assume that Tish is like going to um, call the doctor and make an appointment so that they can go together for Shani to get checked out. I don't actually know if this is something we can like accompany them for. I don't think so. So while we wait for their ah. results, they are both like doing stuff for work or for school. <coughs> while that's happening, I can quickly show you like a couple of. I can show you the apartment um, because I did not build this except for the kitchen and the bathroom. Basically. Oh, they're already back. Okay, I want to know what happened, but first. Yeah, so we are in the Hakim apartment, and like all of the bedrooms and the living room, I actually downloaded from the gallery. They're all by, um, by individual creators. So, for example, Kanzi's bedroom is by Mishiru88. Then we have got what is meant to be Zahor's bedroom, but everyone hangs out in it. It's by... It's by C I M T H A B S T B two four seven. Yeah. Mother's and aunt's bedroom is by Fran Africa. 
and the living room that I picked is by Morgana and I had to like change the sizing of a couple of them just to make it um, like fit in here and to leave like some room for the uh, bathroom <gasps> she is living her last days what no can't she do like treatment <gasps> Oh my god. She's dying already? No, 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 no. I thought, I thought that she, like, I wanted her to be around for a little bit longer. Okay, I don't, <laughs> this is not how I intended for this to go. I didn't even give her the felt fatal illness. Uh, I didn't even give her the fatal illness. I just only, I only gave her actually the, um, the symptoms. Oh, she's depressed because... Oh no... I only gave her the, the symptoms so far. I didn't know that like... Oh yeah, they can have the surgery. I mean, but how many days would she have to live? <laughs> so, like, shocked right now. Like, what? Because I did, I didn't actually want her to die yet. Okay, as a start, I'm gonna have her have the surgery and see if it's successful. And I'm gonna save because the th my like the plan for the storyline was not that she would die right now, like that she would die eventually, but not yet. So I kind of still want her to be around for a little bit longer. Like he still wants to achieve things. Travel to the hospital for surgery, have surgery at the hospital with... Can they all go? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna say they don't go with Kanzi, they just go... Okay. <gasps> oh my god, I hope this works. Dude, stop filling out numbers. Go to the hospital. But I guess it's not a rabbit hole thing. Uh, it's not a thing where you can actually visit it now. By the way, I love, if you look at the at the room, I love the artwork that's in this one. That's why I feel like it's perfect for Kanzi. Um, like, it came with the easel and it came with all of this artwork, which I love and like these sketches. I think it's so perfect for her. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! You're back! She's still dying! <laughs> And he's, he's vibing. Oh. How long has, has she got to live, though? They should talk. No, she doesn't want to complain, but... They should talk about it. No, they should talk about it. She doesn't even know yet. As for, as for advice, also doesn't really work. I, I'm just not ready for her to die. I'm guessing that means that the surgery, like, had no effect could she do it again <laughs> okay I'm gonna say she already went to the hospital today so she can't go again I'm g he's gonna ask her his mom for advice now that she's still around oh you guys I did not intend for her to die <laughs> this early on I do not want her to die but it just says dying the whole time I'm not okay. The story is progressing too quickly. Okay, I think she should like... Well, to ask about day. Give him a gift. Give him a friendly gift. A clothing pile. <laughs> I really want her to like tell him like that he should continue. Um, to pursue this idea like that, that they have like royal blood and like to find out more about their history and like what happened to their kingdom <laughs> and, and like, you know yeah. figure out like <laughs> their, their <laughs> birth records and things like that it's she hasn't realized so at all Renzi. can they not so tell her like <laughs> hey your, your mother is <laughs> dying <laughs> <laughs> it's the middle of the night right now. Uh, oh my god, oh my god! You can see! 
<gasps> you can see how much life she has left, and it's it's depleting really. Okay, I want her to sleep, and then I want to see if that if that reduces the rate at which it depletes. <gasps> oh my goodness! So Tish in the morning is going to call into work. She's not gonna go. So she'll probably take like some time off. And maybe she should already adopt Kanzi as a care parent, or maybe they'll do that more on like really Shani's dying bed. Um, mm, I thought maybe when she's sleeping it would be depleting at a slower rate, but it doesn't seem like it. Oh my god, I I can't handle this. I hate the fact that she's that she's so sick already, and like there's nothing I can do. The thing is, so I ha I am attending for Zahur to, um, I want him to like change career as well. Um, I imagine that he would do like a couple different things. So right now, he is working in business. I think he should like change career at some point, maybe towards politics or um, something along those lines just to like increase his influence and find out a bit more like for now he's trying to reach a good standing and he also made acquaintances already with some of the other like rulers of other kingdoms um, not really like stating his claim yet but just like trying to network and trying to get like on their good sides and things like that I think she's making like sad noises as she's sleeping oh my god I'm so sad. I know that I brought this upon myself, but still, it, it doesn't feel good. I want him to become friends with Alamund Fisher. I think Alamund is actually in Windenburg in like my medieval um, inspired area more. But, but I don't know, I still like, I think he looks really cool and um, like he looks like they would be good friends because I'm also kind of wondering like ah. once so who kind of embarks more on his journey of uh, discovering his past like who will go with him because I'm thinking Kanzi will still be a teenager at that point and she like can't really leave also how are they all like just chilling and chatting like having the time of their lives while um, Shani is literally like just crying in her sleep it makes me so sad How's her? Oh my god, it's already more than halfway, so she literally has only today. Okay, I don't. I'm. Uh, can I. Can I cure her? <gasps> okay, okay, that's cool. <laughs> if I up her needs, then her remaining life also goes higher. So I don't know for how often I'm gonna do that, because I don't have too much control over the time she dies. But at least it can sustain a little bit longer. I'm so happy about that. I was not ready for her to die within like one day. Okay, for Tish, she still needs to like discuss outfits and stuff like that. So I am going to have her do that because depending on how long Shani is going to be like suffering for, she will maybe quit her job. But for now, she's just going to take like some time off in order to care for her sister. <gasps> oh, this... I do mm. love the animation, though, like ah. how slowly oh, she's walking. And a zook. And a zook. <laughs> oh, they're deeply connected. Okay, so she Ooh, gets this take Skiba. page oh, time toy, off. Skiba. And we can vote now. Vote on the action plans. <laughs> and then it's finally time for a promotion, I hope. Alright, so as soon as Shani wakes up, they're going to uh -huh. go to the doctor again. Oh, and, um, you know, ah. see what that visit results in. Hmm. I'm not oh. really sure like what Okay, uh, they're gonna go there. Yeah, I'm not really oh. sure what kind <laughs> of disease it's supposed to be. 
I would say that it's maybe similar to cancer. So oh, <laughs> they are just out here talking to the doctor. I thought that they should go into the operation room. Hmm. Hmm. 7A? Can we talk to him? <laughs> yeah, we want to have the surgery. <laughs> oh, oh my god. She passed out. Come here. And I love how he was like trying to help her in the completely wrong direction. Turib? Aww. <gasps> the to nurse know is sad for oh, her too. Oh, oh, oh. oh my god. Go and have surgery. Go and have the surgery. Oh, You're not supposed to be reading. You're supposed to have surgery. Where's the operation room? Come on, dude. Give me my surgery. Oh, yelling, oh. <laughs> Again? <laughs> I'm so confused. Or, or did he tell her that, that there's no point in having surgery? Oh my god, she's crying so hard! <laughs> Okay. Uh huh. So horse still didn't get a freaking raise. Are you kidding me? I I'm tired of waiting for this guy uh -huh. to give us our surgery. We're going to uh -huh. go to Rabbit Hole Hospital together. Yeah, you were not good enough, sir. You did not actually give us surgery. You just kept telling us that we're doomed to fail and didn't even try. We do not appreciate it. Thank you. Alright, so going back to the doctor was an obvious fail. Um, I'm going to wrap up this tumultuous and emotional episode here. And next time I'm going to try again to send her for surgery. But I guess I'm not going to like go with to the hospital because that didn't seem to work. So I'll just do like the rabbit hole thing. And then I'm going to have Zahur change careers I think and like try to continue working towards his goal um, and I think he really wants to work really hard I think that distracts him from like his mother's condition as well so yeah that's gonna be the plan for next time do check out the uh, the life tragedies mod if you find that interesting there's lots of other options as well in there and yeah thank you for watching and I hope I see you next time